In this tutorial we will learn about introduction to computer. The first question is what is a computer? A computer is an electronic device which calculates. In other words we can say a computer is a device which computes. The word computer comes from the word compute which means to calculate. Now if we see the definition of computer. A computer is an electronic equipment designed automatically accept and store data, manipulate them and produce output result under the direction of a detailed step-by-step -step stored program of instruction. Some terms used in computer. Data. Raw facts are known as data. Information. Meaningful data constitute information. Instruction. Command that tells computer what to do are called instruction. Program. Set of instruction is called program. Types of computer. There are two types of computer. Analog computer and digital computer. Analog computer handle or process information which is of physical nature. Example temperature pressure at Digital computer. It process information which is in a binary or two state form, namely 0 and 1. Handheld or mobile computing devices. The devices which we can carry with our hand and use them anywhere we want is known as handheld or mobile computing devices. Some of the examples are laptop, notebooks, PDA, tablet. History of computer. The history of computer is divided into five generations. First generation computers. In first generation computers magnetic medium were used for data input and output. Punch cards were used as memory. In second generation computer transistors were used. In third generation computers integrated circuits or EG were used. In fourth generation computer microprocessors were used. In fifth generation computers are still under research and development. Parallel processing hardware and artificial intelligence is enhanced in fifth generation computers. Characteristics of computer, speed, accuracy, versatility, reliability, power of remembering and diligence. The computer can perform many tasks at a time also known as multiprocessing. This feature makes it quite versatile in nature. The computer can perform long and complex calculations or tasks with same speed and accuracy from the start till end makes it diligence in nature. Unlike human, if they start working from morning till evening dot their speed of work will slow down with time. Some of the application of computer. Computer is used in bank, office, online exam, in EG, ECG, MRI and most importantly in communication. Components of computer. There are five functional unit of computer. CPU, VDU, input and output devices, computer memory and hardware and softwares. We will learn them in details. CPU or the central processing unit. Its primary job is to run program and control the operation of all other components such as memory, keyboard and printer. Please remember a program under execution is known as process. There are three major sections of CPU. Primary memory, arithmetic and logic unit, and control unit. Primary memory hold the data which is currently manipulated by the CPU. It is also known as main memory, internal memory or AMA. Arithmetic and logic unit is the place in a computer where the actual execution of instruction takes place and all comparison takes place. Control unit. This unit is responsible for controlling the entire working of the computer. The timing and control signals are generated by this unit. Second component of computer. Visual display unit VDU or monitor, keyboard and mouse. Monitor is also known as visual display unit or VDU. There are three types of VDU or monitor. CRT or cathode ray tube. LCD or liquid crystal display. There are two types of LCD monitors. Active matrix or TFT and passive matrix. 
LED is another type of monitor. LED stands for light emitting diode. Keyboard is a device through which program and data are entered into the computer. Mouse is a pointing devices. Mouse is also a input device. Input devices. Input devices are those devices which are used to enter information into a computer. The devices are microphone, web camera, joystick, light pen, biometric sensors, barcode reader, scanner, OMR. Output devices. Output devices are those devices of computer system that supplies information or results either in the form of hard copy or soft copy. Some common output devices. Printers, plotters, multimedia projectors, speaker et. Computer memory. There are two types of computer memory. Primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is a part of CPU and losses its contents when the electricity to the computer is cut off whereas secondary memory is external to CPU and retains the content even after electricity to the computer is cut off. Primary memory is divided into following two types. Random access memory. It is of two types. Static RAM and dynamic RAM. Static RAM. It retains stored information as long as there is power supply. Dynamic RAM. It loses its stored information in a very short time even though power supply is on. Read-only memory, is another type of primary memory. It is a permanent type of memory. Its contents are not lost when power supply is switched off. Its content are written at the time of manufacturing. Types of ROM. Programmable ROM are called PROM. Erasable PROM are called EPROM. Electrically erasable PROM are called E square PROM. Secondary memory. Secondary memory are non volatile in nature means the content retains even after electricity to the computer is switched off. The fifth component of computer is the hardware and software. The physical component of a computer are called hardware. Example microprocessor, a hard disk, monitor, keyboard, mouse. Software is the set of computer program, procedures, and associated documentation related to the effective operation of a computer system. Types of software. Please refer the chart for details. Operating system is a type of system software. Programming software are other types. Assembler, compiler and interpreter. Assembler. Assembler is program which translates an assembly language program into a machine language program. We will learn about the various types of language used in computer in later part of this tutorial. Compiler. Compiler is a program which translates a high level language program into a machine language program. Interpreter. Interpreter is a program which translates one statement of a high-level language program into a machine code and executes it. Utility Software Utility Software A system software designed to help, analyze, configure, optimize and maintain the computer. Example Antivirus Application Software There are two type of application software. Ready-made software and user-written software. Ready-made software are those software which are developed not for any specific user. Example. Tally, word processor. User-written software are software developed for a specific user based on their demand. Example. Scientific simulation. Computer language. Computer language can be broadly classified as. Machine language. Assembly language and high level language. Machine language. The set of instruction code, whether in binary or decimal notation, which can be directly understood by the computer without the help of a translating program, is called machine language. Assembly language. Instruction to the computer are written using letter code to designate the operation to be performed. High level language. The instruction written in high-level language are called statements. The statement resemble more closely to English and mathematics. Please refer the slide for the examples of high-level language. 
basic data types. Integer takes two bytes of memory and so on. Please refer the above table for details. Memory unit. Bit is the small it memory unit. 8 bit makes 1 byte and so on. Number system. Please refer the table for details. Data can be stored in hard disk, CD compact disk, DVD digital video disk, pendrive etc. CD usually has a memory of 700 megabytes. DVD has a memory of 4.7 gigabytes. Data processing means manipulation of raw facts into useful information. E-governance is the application of modern information and communication technologies such as internet, local area network, mobiles, etc., by government to improve the effectiveness, efficiency, service delivery and to promote democracy.